it was actually Julian Valverde who came up with the idea of of getting a hundred photos together, ten from each of of the um, ten years that we've been a UEFA member. And um, once that seed was planted in our in our heads, we needed to go. We needed to find the right way of of doing so. And we were pretty clear from day one that we wanted it to be independently done. Um, so external people, if you like, telling our story. Uh, photography as it is, is, is an art form. And with all art forms, um, it's, it's, it can be judged in different ways. Um, essentially, in photography, you're looking at various elements to a photo which stand it above the norm. So you can have something that's technically perfect, but it doesn't really send a message or say a story. Um, and I'm a great believer in the best photo photographs generally are the ones that tell a story, but don't have to be perfect in maybe how sharp they are, or their exposure, and all other technical photographic bits and pieces that the photography photographers would um, would look for. Yeah, it's, yeah. So it's it's more about that, and I think ultimately the the winning photo of the decade, I think, was one that definitely said more about the story, and and also, and as you as you mentioned, it, it wasn't necessarily. Um, a piece of action or a particular game it was it was more to do with i believe the community of football as a lot, and a lot of the, the images in the exhibition are more about the community and not just the players or the teams it's, there are, there are photographs of fans there are photographs of of even still life bits and pieces of just memorabilia that that told part of this story over the decade i think i'm still in shock to be honest um uh, there's so many fantastic photographs. Um, I, I didn't really think that mine was going to win, to be honest. And um, it's oh, it's a privilege. Um, I, the one thing that I don't know whether it portrayed in the photograph was the emotion of the photograph. Um, many people that would know John Senior would understand that. Um, I didn't know whether that would come across. It, I think quite a few people shed a tear. It was quite emotional to see um, John Shepard Sr., if you like, presenting his trophy, if you like, to Colin Ramirez in black and white. I mean, it's just it's just so powerful, and and I think it's 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 if you don't mind me saying, I don't think it's 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 a photo that people just relating to football will feel sort of emotional about, if you like, because I think he touched so many people's lives in the sporting community in Gibraltar in all his years of reporting on, on everything, you know. Um, I remember as a kid waiting for the back page of the Chronicle that would come with, with reports about me in various different sports that I played. So so it, it, it's those emotions that it brings out, you know, and 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 um and yeah I think that's that that's it was it was such a poignant not just photograph but moment when it was unveiled. Um and um people in the gallery last night were quite touched by it. A thank you, personal thank you to them photographers who who often uh, stand up in cold uh, winter nights in the rain and, and take pictures. I think it's, it's thank you guys. Um, you've done a great job. We're a fraternity of about 10 to 12 photographers that dedicate ourselves to trying to cover most sports as well as as well as football. And um, yeah, I, I mean, I've seen them all here tonight and I take my hat off to every single one of them. Think about these guys. Most of them have day jobs. You know, and and they go in their free time after after their after their jobs to to the stadium and other sports to photograph, and and it's testament to their skill, to their dedication, and to their passion that that the exhibition is up there and showing off their work.